I'm kind of a spiritual soul person. I really want it to be soul work and it's not so much as artwork. Mm-hmm. I went to college for commercial photography and then I got involved in the whole studio photography and over the years, um, the hobby, the travel photography, um, taking portraits, um, but always having the eye of a photographer. I have a gal who comes to my studio twice a week and she is a photographer and she also likes to paint. And so I've had several people approach me saying, well, we'd like to study under you. I glean a lot from various artists in the area and I take classes at local museums. So we're always learning. There should always be a oh, absolute process. Kim, tell us, how did you get inspired to become an artist? Well, I've been kind of creative as a child. I always wanted to take pictures, so I always had a camera in my hand usually. And so it becomes, the canvas is the photograph. It's really, instead of a blank canvas, right. that is my sketch, right. and it's the photograph. Great. But the integrity of the image still shines through, even as I alter it with the painting techniques. Uh-huh. What is connecting is our past. And I think a lot of times we tend to forget that this is what's made us today. You know, each generation comes and goes, but what legacy do you leave behind? So I'm about legacies.